Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Salam alaykum, dear brothers and sisters. It is Muhammad Sadiqi, and on this session, we want to discuss about this issue that how can someone sacrifice himself in such a way that Imam Hussein did? And with this question, that he would know about it from before. This means that Imam Hussein knew about what would happen in Karbala before even making the first step towards Karbala and he did it as such that uh, no one else could done that more better. So he did it at the best quality and at the most highest strength that it could be happened. This has uh, two answers. One that this was a straight order from Allah and Imam Hussein has recognized this order by the basira, by the insight uh, that Imam Hussein has uh, and by the real uh, connection that he has uh, towards Allah and that Allah sees and of course Imam Hussein sees as well that Islam is gone to a deviation by Bani Umayyah's ruling uh, kingdom and by what Yazid was doing at that time there was going to be nothing left of Islam if nobody wanted to uh, take up a movement towards Islam so uh, you see that Imam Hussein recognized this at the first uh, point that it is an order from Allah because of Islam that is going to a deviation because of the guidance of human beings that uh, they have to be again guided into a straight path and to have a measurement to recognize this, the straight path and in according to Allah's order this is not going to happen unless the unless that this this uh, deviated Islam would be washed away by unfortunately Imam Hussein's blood Imam Hussein alayhi so you see on the first point that uh, he recognized this order and on the second point that he has the tawakkul okay in theory I have recognized an order how can I apply to it how can I take action into it with the best type with the highest quality you see that it's an aspect called tawakkul the tawakkul means the amount of trust that you have in Allah. The tawakkul of Imam Hussein in Allah is in the highest level that it could happen by any human being. Because you see that in this path of Allah, uh, in Karbala, anybody who is going to even be a companion of Imam Hussein has to tolerate so much persecution. So what what is it that makes this happening in this quality? It's the tawakkul. So brothers and sisters, we want to say that in, in our lives, if we want to be accepted as a lover of Imam Hussein, as a Shia, as a person who, who his heart is beating for Imam Hussein, we have to try to get near to this, to the aspects of that he had, to the characteristic of he had, and he uh, made uh, guidance for all human beings to be like that. In this situation that we have to have we, we, we make thousands of choices, uh, maybe daily, weekly, monthly, in our, in our personal life. What, uh, what amount of those choices are related to Allah's orders? And if they are related to Allah's orders, what amount of them are applied and, and are, and, and are they like acted and we act in them with a high uh, level of quality? with a high level of tawakkul. You see that even recognizing that Allah's order is a, hard, is a hard thing to do. Obviously, no person more than Imam Hussein at that time is connected to Allah in every second of the life, in every millisecond of, the, of, of his life. And uh, he, he has a strict strength connection because he is the most highly leveled spiritual character and human at the time 
it's imam it's the it's the thing that we say about every imam it's this point that Allah has put a representative of himself on earth called imam imam is straightly uh, connected to Allah and after imam all human beings have to see what imam says because if we want to make the best choice in every second of our life we have to use a framework if we don't have this framework how come how is this going to happen how could i give not this possibility that i'm going to go into the red lines in drinking in eating in acting in every part of my life so we need a frame this framework is made by Allah illustrated by Imam because nobody more than Imam is related and connected to Allah as this framework was firstly in Islam in the Islam of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alayhi, was illustrated by the Prophet itself and it was continued by Imams. So in any time, if we want to see what was that pure structure, what was that pure framework that the Prophet has said, we have to go to our Imam on, on that time and ask him. So first of all, if we want to be like Imam, to choose and make choice in the straight path of Allah, we have to make the framework. The framework is called religion. The religion is illustrated and it is guided by Imam. So when you come to the religion of Islam and you be Shia, you can make the best choices that you could give the, the highest possibility that they are the orders of Almighty. And then you could do Tawaf. You could be as your Imam. You could do it as the highest quality that it could happen and practice for it every day, every second, every choice that we are going to make, brothers and sisters. And believe me, when I love something, every day that I try to love it more, I would be near to him. I would be near to that person, in characteristics even, in the quality of action even. So when you try to love Imam Hussein and act like Imam Hussein, choose like Imam Hussein, choose the order of Allah, Take action like Imam Hussein took action by the tawakkul, by the pure tawakkul, then you would make events and movements as the quality that your Imam made. Or at least the most near to that quality. When you see a movement makes Karbala and Ashura, that it, it goes universal and it affects and influences the whole universe not only human beings, the whole universe, then you would be acting and making actions that would affect and influence all beings. This is how we should make our lives. We have, to, we have to put it in this framework that Imam says, framework of religion, framework of Shia, and then go through it, brothers and sisters. So on this session, uh, we illustrated that how we could take movements like Imam and inshallah by practicing this type of view and this type of making choices day to day to day we would be improved in making actions towards the path of Almighty and inshallah our actions would be granted in the view of Allah at the end I purely beg you for your prayings towards us and towards everybody that praying for each other would be granted more in the Allah's view. Thank you everybody. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Bye bye.